Here is a triangle whose sides have lengths 13, 14 and 15. Can we find the area of that triangle knowing just the lengths of its sides? Yes, we can, and for that we'll use Heron's formula. It states that if A, B and C are sides of a triangle, and S its semi-perimeter, then the area of the triangle is equal to the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. But before we use this formula, let's see how we can derive it. The area of this triangle is equal to A times HA over 2. However, if we only know the sides of a triangle and not the height, then we need to express HA in terms of A, B and C. And let's denote this length by x. Then this is a minus x. Here we have two right triangles that share this leg HA. So HA squared is on the one hand equal to c squared minus x squared. And on the other hand it's equal to b squared minus a minus x squared. But that means that c squared minus x squared is equal to b squared minus a minus x squared, which is equal to b squared minus a squared plus 2ax minus x squared. And here x squared and x squared cancel out, and we get that c squared is equal to b squared minus a squared plus 2ax and that gives us that 2ax is equal to c squared minus b squared plus a squared. But that means that x is equal to c squared minus b squared plus a squared over 2a. So we've expressed x in terms of a, b and c, and now let's do that for ha. ha squared is equal to c squared minus x squared, which is equal to c minus x times c plus x. And now instead of x, we'll write this. The first term is equal to 2ac minus c squared plus b squared minus a squared over 2a and the second term is equal to 2ac plus c squared minus b squared plus a squared over 2a. This is equal to b squared minus a squared minus 2ac plus c squared over 2a and this is equal to a squared plus 2ac plus c squared minus b squared over 2a. Let's just rewrite this. Now this is equal to b squared minus a minus c squared over 2a times a plus c squared minus b squared over 2a. But this is equal to b minus a minus c times b plus a minus c over 2a times a plus c minus b 
times a plus c plus b over 2a. And we'll just rearrange the terms so we get that this is equal to a plus b plus c times b plus c minus a times a plus c minus b and times a plus b minus c and all of that over 4a squared. Now that we have expressed h a squared in terms of a, b and c, let's find the area. The area is equal to a times h a over 2 and we can write that as the square root of a squared times h a squared over 4. And instead of h a squared, we'll write this expression. Now a squared and a squared cancel out and we are left with this. Now 16 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 so we can write this as follows the square root of a plus b plus c over 2 times b plus c minus a over 2 times a plus c minus b over 2 times a plus b minus c over 2. We already said that we'll denote the semi-perimeter by s. Now b plus c minus a over 2 is equal to a plus b plus c minus 2a over 2 which is equal to a plus b plus c over 2 minus 2a over 2 which is equal to s minus a. Similarly a plus c minus b over 2 is equal to s minus b and a plus b minus c over 2 is equal to s minus c. And that means that the area is equal to the square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c. This is known as Heron's formula. Now let's go back to our problem. In our case, when sides are 13, 14 and 15, the semi-perimeter is equal to 13 plus 14 plus 15 over 2 and that is equal to 42 over 2 which is equal to 21. Now s minus a is equal to 21 minus 13 which is 8. s minus b is equal to 21 minus 14 which is 7 and s minus c is equal to 21 minus 15 which is 6. The area is equal to the square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c which is now equal to the square root of 21 times 8 times 7 times 6 but 21 is 3 times 7, 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, and 6 is 2 times 3, so this is equal to 3 times 7 times 2 times 2, and that is equal to 21 times 4, which is 84. So we were able to calculate the area of a triangle using just the lengths of its sides. In our case, the area is 84. With that in mind, I leave you with this question. What are the heights of the triangle from our problem? That is all for this video. If you liked it, click the like button, it helps with the YouTube algorithm.
and I'll see you next time.